Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if you're you're just seeing this for the first time. Um, if you watch my other video, you would know that I had some difficulties being able to record while driving because I did not install the mount properly. There was an extra little piece that I did not that I did not put on, and that's why it was wobbling. And I, but I fixed it. Because I, I had the box on the couch, and I just glanced at it today because I thought, okay, I'm going to try to, like, jerry-rig it and fix it myself. And then I look at the box, and the, the photo on the box shows this smaller piece that is meant to stabilize the arm of the mount. And I was like, oh, well, that makes complete sense why the mount was not stable before. It's still going to be a bit shaky, but I just used iMovie for the first time yesterday when I was uploading the first video, and apparently iMovie has an option where you can stabilize the footage, so um, for the clips while I'm driving, I'm going to try to use that and see if it helps anything, because I can tell it's still a little bit shaking here and there, but it's not as bad as it was because now the arm is stable. Um, speaking of iMovie, I got so frustrated yesterday when I was trying to export the video to my desktop. I had it, I got it all, put the clips together, everything was good, and then it wasn't exporting. It was just sitting at 20 megabits. Is that the right word? I don't know anyway. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. It was just sitting at 20, and I'm just like, is it going to go? And then I had to go to work, and so I gave up. And then I found a different program, and I thought, okay, I'll just use this program. And then that program was very slow, so I didn't want to use that program. Um, and then I got home from work, and then I was like, okay, you know what? I will try iMovie, like maybe this will go and it'll be fine. And then it starts going and it starts exporting. It's kind of slow and then it's like speeding up. It's, it's inching along. It's trying its best, you know what I mean? So as I was saying, when I walked up to my car after I left my house, I felt some keys fall off. And I was like, oh, that, how'd that happen? But whatever. I have a carabiner that does lock, but I don't always, I really usually don't have it locked. Um, and so I pick up the keys and then I look at all of my keys and I'm like, oh, hold on a second. I dropped, I dropped more keys. And so I'm like, look at like Hansel and Gretel looking for my fucking keys that I had dropped along the way to the car. And I'm like, well, thank God I realized that I dropped those keys. I mean, I probably would have found them because they were in the pathway from my car to the door to my apartment building. So I probably would have found them. But yeah, I have a lot of keys on my carabiner because I don't know why, actually. I think subtly, like, I enjoy having a lot of keys because it makes me feel like... I have access to a lot of places, and for some reason that makes, that I like that. I don't know. Anyways. So, I do like Starbucks a lot, not gonna lie, but I think it would be really fun if I were to take you guys, well, I'm not gonna take you inside because when I have my mask on, it's really hard to talk, and it's really muffled, um, so I'm not gonna take you guys inside of the coffee shop with me, but... I thought it would be fun if I were to show you some local places where I live in Ohio uh, and get like their signature drinks. Um, donkey coffee, which I come to a lot. Sorry, that was crooked and if that was bothering anybody else, I'm so sorry, but it's, it's fixed now. Um, they have a thing called a, a chider. And I'm not 100% what's in it, but I think it's apple cider and chai. And then I'm going to ask exactly what's in it. But I don't believe that I've ever had it before. But I know it's one of their signature winter drinks. And a lot of people ran rave about it. I'm not a huge chai person. I do love a good 
spiced chai latte with almond milk iced. I, that's a that's one of my that's one of my favorite drinks. I would have to say, especially from this place, Donkey. That I lied, and I'm sorry. But apparently, the chider is only a like fall thing, September and October. It is not a winter thing. My mistake, but I saw this on their Instagram. It's a peppermint mocha. I normally do not like peppermint, but I'm going to do it for the vlog, and maybe I will like it. And they also give you a cute little piece of Ghirardelli peppermint bark with it, so I thought that was a really cute, nice touch. But... Oh, and by the way, I got it with almond milk, of course. Um, I think my favorite part about going to smaller places is they really put the cute little small touches on their drinks and other things like like the peppermint bark. Okay, see, I really don't like peppermint. But I have to give this drink a try. I mean, like, a chance. Not a try. I already tried it, but. Okay, first of all, it's really hot, and I just burn my tongue, so that, but that has nothing to do with the drink. I am going to give this a 3.5 out of 5, or 3.75 out of 5, how about that? Simply because I don't love peppermint. But it's actually, it's pretty subtle in the drink. I'm probably not going to eat, I'm not going to eat the peppermint bark. Um, I'm going to give it to one of my friends because I don't like it. But, oh, do you guys, do you guys buy cups from Starbucks? Um, I normally don't. Normally my sister will buy them for me or something like that because she likes to buy them. Um, but I, normally I don't. But over the summer, I had accumulated 400 points or stars or whatever. Stars, I think. And I was like, screw it. Uh, I'm getting a cup. And I think it's really stinking cute, if I do say so myself. And it's kind of like see-through. So if there's a light behind it, it looks really pretty as well. Oh, I also got a cookie. Because I thought to myself, you know what? I need a treat as well. I got this uh, oatmeal spice cookie with almonds. I mean, with raisins, not almonds. Um, but look, it's like. It's gonna be the thumbnail. It's about as big as my face. It looks so good. It looks yummy. Um, I want this bite with the raisins. Mmm. I'm giving that a 5 out of 5 for sure. Um, what's your favorite cookie? I've heard a lot of people say, like, oatmeal raisin cookies are for old people. And I'm like, damn. I like oatmeal raisin cookies. But, um. Anyways. Well. Fuck it, let's just drive around. Because I have a couple things I want to talk about. Um, probably. And we'll see where it goes. I was going to... I was going to go to a local florist. That also has like little plants there. And show you guys uh, a gift that I'm getting for a friend. But... Uh, they are not open on Sundays, so maybe that will be a tomorrow thing. I don't think I have a lot going on during the day tomorrow, so I think maybe I'll I'll do that tomorrow. Um, how is everyone's day going? It's Sunday. I filmed I filmed the first video on Friday, and then it was. 
it was going to be too late on Friday. Like I wouldn't, I was not going to have enough time to upload it on Friday night. So I was like, okay, I will upload it on Saturday. And then Saturday came around and I was really frustrated with trying to get it exported. So then I wasn't able to do that till the end of the day. Sorry, Bumpy. And by the afternoon, oh, sorry, it's shaky. By the afternoon, I was kind of over it. Like, I didn't want to vlog that. I didn't want to vlog yesterday, so I just didn't. Um, but here I am today. I wasn't going to not do it. I just, yesterday, I was not feeling it. And then I had to go to work, so it was just not, not a good day. But we're back on the horse. Peter Mon Vlog Challenge Day 2. And I'm really liking it so far. I can already feel myself being more comfortable filming. I have cookie crumbs on my lips, why didn't you tell me? Um, so... I'm already feeling myself being more comfortable and being more, um, I was going to say being more myself, but I wasn't, it's not like I wasn't myself the other day. I just feel like I'm more comfortable, more comfortable today with everything. And since I'm able to drive, it's, it's pretty nice to be able to drive and talk. And I really hope this footage is not like all super shaky. I don't think it will be. Um, but I really hope it's good enough, because I'm going to be sad if it's not. Um, I was going, oh, I was asking how your day was. So my day, so far, it's a lazy Sunday for me, so I slept in, and then, um, I woke up, and I saw that one of my favorite people on Twitch, well, actually there are a couple. My favorite couple on Twitch were streaming, playing Among Us, and I was almost too tired, and I just wanted to watch them play, and I didn't really want to play myself. Um, but then, like, they're a really small channel, so they knew I was in there and I had watched before and I'll explain how I found them in this, after this story but anyway they were I was just watching because I was kind of tired and I didn't want to actually play and they saw that I was on the stream and they were like coyote come in uh come and play with us and I was like oh okay so then I was like well they asked me I must oblige so I went ahead and got on and started playing with them. And so that was fun. So how I found this twi this couple who streams on Twitch. Uh, by the way, their name on Twitch is couple underscore squad. I don't know how many of you watch Twitch or play Among Us anymore. Does anybody play Among Us anymore? Or is that like all of the preteen, like all of the children are playing now and like everybody who's older is kind of over it now? Is that the feeling I'm getting? I, I don't know because I'm still, personally, I'm still enjoying it. Not all the time and sometimes I will get frustrated if, if I'm getting a lot of bad lobbies and then I will just like rage quit and just stop playing for a few days. But last week I started getting back into it again and I got... There was one night that I got imposter four times in a row, and I think we won about every time. And so when I get in the when I get in grooves like that, it's just it's it's fun. It's fun. Um, and if anybody who's watching this ever wants to play Among Us together, please let me know because I would love to play with people that that I know or that I 
could know. Whatever. Anyways. I feel like almost all of the people who are going to be watching this are people that know me already. So I almost feel like I don't need to do any type of introduction. But maybe tomorrow if people are, if more people are watching, maybe I'll talk about myself a little bit. Um, yeah, so anyway, how I was first introduced to Couple Squad, I was playing and I just ended up, I ended up being in their lobby and they were like, hold on a minute, like a person, a, a viewer, Twitch viewer is going to join the game, and I was like, oh, Twitch, because, um, if you know me, you know that I watch Hassan, Hassan Abi, well, his name is Hassan Piger, but I think, I think his Twitch is Hassan Abi, A-B-I, so, if you know me, you know that I love watching Hassan on Twitch. I, he's not, he is, he does game, but he mostly, mostly does political commentating, and that's mostly why I watch him, but he also games sometimes, too. Like, he was one of the ones, if you know, if you're active on Twitter, you, you probably know that, um, AOC played Twitch, played, played Among Us on Twitch, with some other people and some other politicians. So, um, yeah, but so anyways, um, oh, I don't remember what I was saying. Maybe this is a bad thing about driving and vlogging because I'm focusing on driving and now I'm forgetting what I'm talking about. Oh, anyway, about Couple Squad. Christ. So I got into the lobby there like, okay, have viewers joining. And I'm like, oh, Twitch, you stream on Twitch. I would like to follow you. Thank you. And so that's how that started. And now we're basically buds now basically buddies and they had their eight-year-old son on today playing with us and it was like it was just so wholesome and adorable and I loved it so that's how I started my day started my day on a pretty good note and then I made myself some coffee in my percolator would anybody be interested in that it, it would be sort of like a sort of like a Peter does stuff video if you watch his Peter if you watch his um Peter does stuff channel. It would it would be oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot better. Maybe uh, it look it feels like a drastic change to me, but it might look it might look the same. Um, but if anybody would be interested in seeing me make coffee in my percolator, I would love to do that. And actually, what's funny is I got I got the percolator because of Peter um, because I have I very limited counter space in my apartment right now in the kitchen so I just simply I just don't have room for a traditional coffee maker so I thought what would make me coffee but is tiny and won't take won't take up any space on the counter because when I'm not using it after I wash it and I just put it right back on the stove and I like I prep it put the water and the coffee in it and I just leave it on the stove until I'm ready to make the coffee so it takes up no counter space so I really love that and I'm not the time I I drink maybe about one cup of coffee a day that's usually where I'm at with that. So, ooh, it's still pretty hot, but it's good. Wow, I feel like I judged that way too soon. I think I'm gonna change my rating to a four point. 
because I still could do without the peppermint, but it honestly is adding, it, it's adding something to the drink, but I could still honestly do without it. But I really do, it's, it's not like intrusive. It's really good. Again, I don't remember what I was, what is happening here? What is this person doing? Oh, I see. There's a lady who's got her SUV backed up, backed up to the, like right next to the driveway, backed up into the, like, I'm not good at explaining things clearly without a visual aid. Um, this lady's backed her, as, like, the front yard where she's backed up into is like a hill, sort of, in the grass, and she's right next to the driveway, and I was, like, very confused, but then I see her walking around and opening up the trunk, and I'm like, oh, you smart. You got something in your trunk that you don't want to carry up that hill. Smart lady over there. <sighs> Oh, so anyways, continuing on with my day, I made myself some coffee. Actually, I was I was still playing Among Us while I was making the coffee, and I actually used that as an excuse, and I was like, what? I'm just not talking that much because I'm making coffee, but I was the imposter. Um, I, le I prefer to play with two imposters versus one. I feel like it's so much harder with one. Like, I don't have, like, a buddy. It's just, like, me trying to dodge everybody not like me and another person and we're like in I like being in cahoots with somebody else do you know what I mean do you like do you play among us do you like one imposter or two some people don't like being imposter is what I've found because <laughs> there'll be a lot of the time where somebody's the imposter and people are sussing them in the chat but they could they could deny it but they choose not to. They're like, yeah, it's me. I don't like being imposter. Does anybody not like being imposter? This is all going to be pointless if none of you play Among Us. It's fine. So anyway, after that, I made myself a little quick, quick late lunch. And then I got dressed to go out and vlog, basically. Do you like my earrings? I got them on Friday. I went to Target with my friend on Friday and I got these earrings. But I never really Somebody almost almost hit me. It's fine. Um I never really wear dangly earrings because I had my ears stretched in high school, like with gauges, because I was a hashtag emo kid, scene kid, whatever. Uh, sorry, mom and dad, it was in fact a phase. <laughs> but so I never really wear dangly earrings because I feel kind of sometimes I feel kind of embarrassed to put earrings in my in my my stretched earlobes because I did take. I did take my gauges out. Uh, I think I wore them a little, I think I took them out like freshman year of college possibly. And then I think they shrank a little bit and then I put some smaller ones in. And then I think about like maybe the end of sophomore year of my undergrad, I decided to completely take them out and not, you know, not put them in again so they have shrunk a lot and um they're pretty small but they still are not ear piercing size um i know what you're thinking do i regret this decision sort of but at the time i thought they looked fucking cool you know what I mean? And I still think that people who stretch their ears, I still think they look cool. But I think it's just not, it's not my vibe anymore. You know what I mean? And so I would like to wear more dangly, girly earrings. 
but it's hard because I have to find specific ones that don't look weird with my stretched ears that look like they look like slits now like if I have any ear like I cannot wear regular stud earrings I could only wear like earrings like this you can't see the back of it but the back is bigger people who wear earrings you know what I mean when I say the back is big it's like the little earring back plus like um, a piece of plastic that's like attached to it that's bigger than the actual back of the earring. So it makes it so it's like a bigger back. I hope that made sense. Probably didn't. Um, so yeah, my day has been very uneventful. But again, I'm totally okay with that because it's Sunday and it was and it rained last night so all the snow melted and it's feeling like spring which is very suspicious to me because clearly it is not even Christmas yet so I know that we are going to get smacked again with snow uh, at least one more time, if not more than once, um, before the year is up. And definitely, you know, winter is not over. So it's like, it's 40 something degrees today. It's, uh, what time is it? It's, f <laughs> it's 4.20 PM right now. I know what some of you people are doing at home right now. And, um, I support it. So you keep doing you. Um, yeah. So how was your guys' weekend? Tell me all about it. Did you work? Did you not work? Did you work on a DIY project at home? I can't wait to own my own home. I, I really like doing DIY type things, but every time I want to buy something like that, um, or work on some sort of project, I feel like, um... No, I, I want to wait because I don't have enough room in my apartment or whatever. I want to wait till I move to do this. Like, there are so many things that I'm like, okay, yeah, as soon as I move into a bigger place, I'll do this. As soon as I move into a bigger place, I'll do this. And so, it's really a bummer. And I'm probably not going to own my own place for a very long time. Um, because of this economy, which I'm... Like, I've accepted that fact. I hope the seatbelt doesn't end up rubbing on the microphone. And I'm so sorry if it happens occasionally. And I'm also sorry that this footage is still going to be a little bit shaky. Um, I just don't know what to tell you. Hopefully the we will see if the iMovie setting to uh, reduce shakiness we will see if that is a gimmick or if it's for real to be determined um, so yeah I just wanted to thank everybody who's watched the first video I think there's like 40 views on it right now and that is not what I was expecting but I also think that it's a lot of people who probably already know me, like my friends, which which is fine, which is great. And I love and I love my friends and thank you. Sorry, my nose is itchy. And I I fucking love all my friends who watch the video. I love everybody who has texted me or said anything like in support of me. Like it, it's just a uh, it's just a great feeling to, to feel like people are supporting you in, in different endeavors in your life because, sorry, my nose is really itchy. Because I've, I've had friends in the past who are not supportive at all or they act like they're supportive, but then on the back end, they're trashing you or just anything like that. Just... I've, I've had some friends in the past who um, 
thankfully they're not in my life anymore and I realize that so my circle is quite small now but that I'm I'm completely fine with that um, all that to say thank you so much to the people who have watched so far and commented and I'm honestly super excited and I didn't think that I would be this comfortable this early but I, I I was getting ready today and I was just so excited to film I was like wow people people there are some people out there who really want to see a video that I recorded like me of all people and I'm just like wow that's such a nice feeling um so I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge so far and I was able to drive today while doing it, which is super exciting. Um, so yeah, and shout out to Milky Way Matthew. He commented on my video yesterday a few times and I was like, thank you. And thank you. hello to all my new subscribers. Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Um, this is actually so good. Wait, it's growing on me even more. What it, it started out as what did I give it a th a three point seven five at first, and then it went up to a four point three. Now I think it's like a four point five. I think it's it's ending up that way because the more I drink it. The less obnoxious the peppermint is to me, the more I'm getting used to the peppermint. Yeah. Um, well, they have little quotes from different, like, magazines and newspapers. And, oh, sorry. And another cool thing about oh, probably all the local coffee shops around here but especially donkey is all of their cups and stuff are compostable biodegradable like this is completely compostable the cup is completely compostable and then am i saying that right compostable i think i'm saying it right i don't know anyway uh and then the lid says that it is 25% post-consumer recycled content. So the, the lid is 25% recycled already. So, that's cool. Um, don't forget to drink some water today. I know you probably haven't drank as much water as you need to be. Stay hydrated out here. Ladies and ladies and the he hims and everybody else in the world. I thought that it would be hard for me to not say, hey guys, because I do, I do still say that and I, I am, I am pretty good about using gender neutral language, like uh, y'all even though I'm not from the south I am not southern in the in the slightest but I think y'all is just I think y'all is arguably the best gender neutral term for people and correct me if you think I'm wrong or tell me what tell me what gender neutral term for people is your favorite to use my favorite is has got to be y'all <laughs> And, and I think it's funnier because I am not Southern whatsoever. So I think it throws people off, possibly. Uh, I am going to go home and park. Because I think this is plenty long enough. And I really hope that the length of this video did not discourage anybody. If you made it, if you made it this far... You should comment something like, you should comment y'all or something like that if you've made it this far. But if nobody's told you this today, you're loved, this world needs you, you're important, you're smart, and I love you. And I hope that each and every one of you has a fantastic 
day and week. Tomorrow's a new week. We're almost at the end of the year. Um, and honestly, if you just simply j- just survived or just got through this year, um, you know, people are talking about, oh, during this quarantine, like, you should have, uh, you know, been in your bag or self-growth or whatever. And it's like... This year was tough on everybody for different reasons. And personally, I think if we just survive this year, like, that's good enough. Don't feel like you have to do more than that. All right. See you in the next one.